Hi and welcome. This is how we choose to build the hard dodger for our boat. This is not an instruction video. You can do this in many different ways. Follow this project from fabric dodger to hard dodger on our boat. The next step when we come home with the model was to take care of their roof. We spackle it, we sanded it and then we lay a layer of wax on it. Before we fiberglass the roof, we covered the rest of the model so it will be protected. And when the wax is on, we start to fiberglass right on the model. Uh, the fiberglass will be 10 millimeters. When the fiberglass was hard, we uh, cut the line around the roof. In the first moment we don't put this one on the roof uh, because uh, we want the design of the uh, roof uh, before we do this one uh, and then we need to have it on the boat so this one we put on in step two you can say uh, we want to see how long how how long this will be uh, and we want to know the angle and we want to know uh, how long between this, between the yeah. side the and the overhang. The overhang, yeah, the overhang. So it was a lot of decisions. It seems easy here, but it was a lot of decisions until we decided how this side part will be on the roof. After we have lifted off the fiberglass roof, we prepare the model for fiberglassing. We spackle it, sanded it and a few layers of wax. The fiberglass day is the day you need to prepare. Be sure you have all material you need for this moment. We cut up the fiberglass mat in pieces and have all the material close to us. When you start this work, you can't stop until you are finished. We build up 10 mm of fiberglass on the dodger. When the fiberglass was hardened, we cut the dodger's bottom so the size will be like the model. Next moment was a hard one. Release the fiberglass dodger from the model. To connect the hard dodger to the boat, we decided to do this small foot rail. So we waxed and cover up the rest of the decking and wax this part and fiberglass direct onto the decking. So we had an, a piece to connect this hard dodger part on the, the decking. Without to do any screws in the decking? Yes, without, uh, so we don't have to screw anything down. And to 
get this part to the right place every time we drill a small hole. We have a hole here somewhere, there. One on this side and one on the other side, uh, like a pilot hole. So it could be put in a screw there on each side to get it to the same, same, <laughs> guide it to the same place every time we lift it off and put it back again. Because we took off the, the, the rail and cleaned up everything and then we put the rail back again and then we took this part and put it on to this foot rail and fiberglass everything like this the whole way around and then that way we know that the hard order will fit onto the decking. We saved the model so we could transport the Dodger in a safe way on the trailer between our home and the boat. When the hard Dodger are on the right place it's time to decide how the windows and the edge of the roof will be designed. It was not done in one shot, we changed it several times until we are satisfied. So far we have done uh, uh, sanding and now we have a uh, spack lift with the uh, fiberglass uh, spackle and more sanding today and hopefully we will be finished with uh, all the sanding today so we can uh, paint it, painting it to the end of next week. So one week to go and then we have a uh, paint on it. Hopefully, and uh, then we are going to do the, the rooftop. It's still uh, the loose thing. We'll do some kind of uh, reinforcement from the inside, and uh, yeah, some kind of edges so it won't be so sharp. We so can put the handles and stuff like that on it. In the dreams, we see it on the boat already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we have tested on the boat already, so it's just finished. Finish. Finish. Job. Yeah. yeah. After we have mounted the edge of the roof, we fiberglass both sides of them. And then back to usual work sanding, spackle. We think this kind of moment are what we do most in this project. Before we paint the dodger, we need to cut out for the windows. We mounted the window frames to see that we cut the windows in the right place. And then, an exciting moment. Is it just to cut? After we have cut out for the windows, we milled an edge so the window will ride on it when we mount them. Next moment, paint everything. We paint with top coat. When everything was hardened, it's time for sanding, wet sanding, and rubbing compound, and then polish to get the right finish in the end. We used the cutout part as template for the windows and added 12 mm so it will fit into the milled edge. Now it's time to mount the windows. This was a little bit scary because when we tried to bend a bit as a test it cracked. We cut out the windows with a jigsaw and everything works out in a good way. When the windows was on the right place, it's time to put everything on the trailer again and back to the boat. Even this time we use the model for the transport.
see you in the next episode when we show you when we put this one on the right place on the boat and we even will share our thoughts about the building and what we are satisfied with and what we should do in another way if we do it again. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up, give us a comment and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye!